now we start with finding the methods of integration. First, the method of simplification or transformation. We change the integral into algebraic sum or the difference of functions which are standard integrals and evaluate the integrals with the help of standard results. For example, integral of time n square x. We don't have any formula which gives us the integral of sec tan n square x. But we break it up, tan n square x as sec square x minus 1. Both sec square x and 1, we know their integrals. That is, it will become integral of secant square x dx minus 1 dx, which becomes tangent x minus x plus c. Similarly, for example, we have to integrate sine 5x cos x dx. We can easily express this as sum of two functions, that is 1 by 2 into 2 sine 5x cos x dx, which is 1 by 2 of sine of 6x plus sine of 4x dx. The integral becomes 1 by 2, sine 6x will be minus cos 6x upon 6, and integral of sine 4x will be minus cos 4x divided by 4 plus c. Similarly, integral of x plus 2 upon x plus 1 raised to power 5 will be equal to x plus 1 plus 1 upon x plus 1 raised to power 5, which can be expressed as integral of x plus 1 raised to power minus 4 plus x plus 1 raised to power minus 5. You know this, it can be written as x plus 1 raised to power minus 3, 2 divided by minus 3, plus x plus 1 raised to power minus 4 upon minus 4 plus c. This simplifies to minus 1 upon 3 times x plus 1 whole cube, minus 1 upon 4 times x plus 1 raised to power 4 plus c. This is how we transform any function as sum or difference of functions which are standard results. The second method is the method of substitution. Method of substitution is extremely important in the process of integration. Sometimes the integral can be changed to a standard integral or some of standard integrals by a suitable substitution. This process of integration is called the method of substitution. It is important that a substitution should be such that whole integral is transformed into a new variable and evaluation of integrals become simpler. There is no specific rule of finding a suitable substitution, but the substitution should be such that it reduces the standard of integral formulas. However, there are some integrals which suggest the suitable substitution. We discuss them below. There are some integrals which suggest the suitable substitution. We discuss below some of them. First, integral of f pi x into phi dash x dx. Substitution becomes phi x equal to z. 